Next question is consider the following political parties and arrange them in chronological order of the establishment. Bhojan Samaj Party that uh, formed in uh, 1984 me aaya. Samajwadi Party 1992 me. Telugu Desam Party uh, 1982 me. All India Trinamool Congress formed in 1998. So in this way option A is correct. Let's see some national parties. There are six national parties currently: BJP, INC, CPIM, NPP, BSP, and recently AAP has been also recognized as a national party by the Election Commission of India. Now these are some criteria to be recognized as a national party. And this is criteria for to become state party. So I'm not going through the provisions. You can download the PDF and go through these. The audit, audit report of Comptroller and Auditor General of India examined by. So this is examined by the Public Count Committee. CG reports that is examined by the Public Count Committee. Public Count Committee formed in 1999. So there are 22 members, 15 from Lok Sabha, 7 from Rajya Sabha. Public Undertaking Committee that is PUC that is formed in 1964. Composition is same, 22 members, 15 from Lok Sabha, 7 from the Rajya Sabha, and they examine the PSU account. Now Estimate Committee that came in, into 1921 and this is the largest committee. It has 30 members, and all are from the Lok Sabha, and and they estimate the expenditure proposed by the government of India, including the budget. Now, next one. When was the Panchayati Extension to the Scheduled Area Act passed by Indian Parliament? So it passed in 1996. So this this was about extending the Panchayati Raj into scheduled areas, and which scheduled areas? Those which are mentioned under Schedule Five. Next, the first interim national government was announced. So it was announced in. On 25th August 1946, the first interim national government formed on 2nd September 1946, but was announced on 25th August 1946. Next one, list one and list two. So we have to match. Third schedule. Third schedule is related to the forms of oath and or affirmation. Fourth schedule related to the allocation of seats in Rajya Sabha. Seventh schedule is related to the list of subject matter of law to be made by the Parliament and by state legislature. This is the division of power. Then the uh, eighth schedule that is related to the language, so it is two one four three, two one four three. Next one, list one and the second. This is committee on Panchayati Raj and the year of their appointment. So Balwant Rai Mehta committee that came in nineteen fifty seven. We have seen earlier as well. Ashok Mehta committee nineteen seventy seven. Alam Singhvi committee came into nineteen eighty six. P K Thangam committee came into nineteen eighty eight. There was one more committee, J V K Rao committee, that came into nineteen eighty five. So answer is one two three four. P K Thangam committee that came into 1988 and they recommended for the constitutional status to the Panchayati Raj. Which of the following did not serve as the vice president before assuming the office of president? So it was Neil Sanjeev Reddy. He became president, but not serve as vice president. All others, Sankar Dayal Sharma was vice president, then became president. Jaggi Rupesan Saab also was vice president and became president. Or Venkat Raman sir, he was also vice president and became. President. <coughs> Match list one, list two. So there are trade union and affiliated parties. Bharatiya Mazdoor Sangh, Bharatiya Janata Party, Indian National Trade Union related to the Indian National Congress, United Trade Union (UTUC) related to the CPIM, and All India Trade Union Congress (AITUC) related to the CPI. So in this way, uh, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, three, two. Sorry, four, one, three, two. D. This is the correct answer. Next one. By which amendment of constitution Delhi has been made national capital region? So it was 69th Amendment Act came to 1991. Which of the following is not a fundamental duty? To protect monuments and places of national importance. This is DPSP. To protect the environment. To protect and improve the natural environment. ये तो दोनों हैं. DPSP भी में भी इसके provisions हैं और fundamental duties में भी हैं. To safeguard public property. This is part of fundamental duty. To respect national anthem. This is part of fundamental duty. So option A is not the fundamental duty. So option A is correct. Another <coughs> question: Which one of the following is not correctly matched? So Lok Sabha is given and election year is given. So we have to see which is which is not matching. Thirteenth Lok Sabha came into nineteen ninety nine. That is correct. Eleventh came into nineteen ninety six. That is also correct. Ninth came in nineteen eighty nine. That is also correct. Seventh came in nineteen eighty, not eighty two. So this is not correct. That's why this is the answer. Here, this list is given: the Lok Sabha and the, their respective election year. In uh, green, ये वो लोकसभाएं जो अपना tenure, पूरा tenure पांच साल का पूरा किए हैं, 
और रेड में जो लोकसभा है ये आइर अपना टेन्योर जो टेन्योर से ज़्यादा ईयर कम्प्लीट किए हैं और टेन्योर से कम ईयर कम्प्लीट किए हैं सो एक ही टेन्योर है यहाँ पे ये फिफ्थ लोकसभा दैट इज नाइनटीन से चला था नाइनटीन सेवेंटी ईयर चला था बिकॉज ऑफ द इमरजेंसी दिस वन फिफ्थ लोकसभा दैट रैन फॉर सिक्स ईयर करंट लोकसभा हमारी कौन सी है सेवनटीन लोकसभा दो हज़ार उन्नीस की सेवनटीन लोकसभा है और एटीन लोकसभा अभी इलेक्शन होने वाला है दो हज़ार चौबीस में होगा तो एटीन लोकसभा आएगी नेक्स्ट वन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर्टिकल ऑफ द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इज रिलेटेड टू दंटीन जेसी फंड सो विच वन इज रिलेटेड टू इट इज टू सिक्सटी सेवन आर्टिकल टू सिक्सटी सेवन कुछ इर्द गिर्द उसके और आर्टिकल देख लेंगे टू सिक्सटी फाइव में है टैक्सेस नॉट टू बी इम्पोज सेव बाई अथॉरिटी ऑफ लॉ नो टैक्स सेल भी लिवाइड और कलेक्टेड एक्सेप्ट अथॉरिटी ऑफ ये प्रोविजन 265 सिक्सटी फाइव में मेंशन है टू सिक्सटी सिक्स में मेंशन है कंसोलिडेट फंड एंड पब्लिक अकाउंट ऑफ इंडिया एंड ऑफ द स्टेट्स इसमें कंसोलिडेट फंड और पब्लिक अकाउंट्स के बारे में प्रोविजन है टू सिक्सटी सेवन इज अबाउट कंटीन्यूसी फंड सो दिस वॉज अवर क्वेश्चन और देन टू सिक्सटी एट इज द ड्यूटीज लिवाइड बाई द यूनियन बट कलेक्टेड एंड अप्रोप्रिएटेड बाई द स्टेट नेक्स्ट वन विच एम फॉलोइंग पर्सन सेट For the fundamental right, a place to our people and a pact with the civilized world. So it was Dr. Sir Pali Radha Krishnan. He was first vice president and second president of India. He said that about the fundamental right. He said that a place to our people and a pact with the civilized world. Next one, which Constitution Amendment Act reduced the voting age from 21 to 18 year? He kissed it 18 years old. Diya gaya voting age. Kiss Constitution Amendment Act it through 61st. So it came in 1988. और भी अमेंडमेंट एक्ट देख लेंगे जो ऑप्शन में मेंशन है सिक्स सेकंड केम टू नाइन नाइन दैट एक्सटेंड द पीरियड ऑफ रिजर्वेशन ऑफ सीट्स फॉर एस सी एस टी एंग्लो इंडियन लोकसभा एंड लेजिस्टिव असेंबली सिक्स थर्ड केम टू नाइन नाइन रिपील द अमेंडमेंट फिफ्टी नाइन विच इम्पॉर्ट गवर्मेंट टू इम्पोज एमरजेंसी इन पंजाब सिक्सटी सिक्स अमेंडमेंट एक्ट केम टू नाइन नाइन ब्रॉड लैंड रिफॉर्म एक्ट विद इन नाइन शेड्यू नाइन शेड्यूल में क्यों क्योंकि नाइन शेड्यूल में जो भी एक्ट रहेंगे उनका जुडिशियल रिव्यू नहीं होगा दो हज़ार लेकिन अगर ये एक्ट बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर के साथ खिलवाड़ करते हैं तो दे विल ऑल्सो कम अंडर दर्व्यू ऑफ जुडिशियल रिव्यू अगर ये बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर को वायलेट करते ऑन द रिकमेंडेशन ऑफ विच कमीशन कमेटी द इंटर स्टेट काउंसिल वॉज सेटअप इन इंडिया सो इट वॉज सरकारी कमीशन और भी कमीशन है उनके बारे में देख लेंगे पुंजी कमीशन केम इन टू टू थाउजेंड सेवन सो ही रिकमेंडेड फॉर द क्रिएशन ऑफ नेशनल इंटीग्रेशन काउंसिल दैट वॉज ऑल्सो ऑन सेंट्रल स्टेट रिलेशनशिप राजे मनार राज मनार कमेटी दैट केम इन टू नाइनटीन सिक्सटी नाइन दैट वॉज ऑल्सो ऑन सेंट्रल स्टेट रिलेशनशिप कोठारी कमीशन It was formed in 1964. It was on education. They have some recommendation on education. The Sarkari Commission formed into 1983, and they have recommended for the Inter-State Council. Inter-State Council is mentioned under Article 263 of our Constitution. Next one, under the Constitution of India, which of the following is not a fundamental duty? To vote in general election. <coughs> this is not our. This is not fundamental duty. This is not mentioned under fundamental duty. Other are mentioned to develop scientific temper. Yes, it is mentioned to safeguard public property. Yes, it is also mentioned to abide by constitution and respect its ideas. That is also mentioned. Next one, which of the following constitution constitution amendment act made necessary provision for the implementation of GST, that is, goods and service tax regime. So it is hundred and first constitution amendment act. Or we act. We will get to see. Some of the constitution amendment act came into 2015. That was regarding the exchange of certain nuclear territories with Bangladesh. <coughs> फिर एक सौ एक आया दो हज़ार सत्रह में इट वॉज अबाउट जीएसटी जनली हम जब सगुन वगैरह देते हैं इसको याद करने का तरीका है सगुन वगैरह जब देते हैं तो हम कितना देते हैं सौ रुपये नहीं देते हैं एक सौ एक देते हैं या इक्यावन रुपये देते हैं ना या ग्यारह रुपये देते हैं इक्कीस देते हैं या पाँच सौ एक देते हैं ऐसे तो एक सौ एक क्या है सौ रुपये पे एक रुपये टैक्स सौ रुपये पे एक रुपये टैक्स ऐसे आई मीन कोई लॉजिक नहीं है बट याद करने का ये तरीका है जो टैक्स है जो एक रुपये एक सौ एक आई मीन सौ पे एक जो दे रहे हैं वो दैट इज रिलेटेड विद दी जी टैक्स हंड्रेड एंड सेकेंड That came into 2018. The, the Constitution is stated to <coughs> NCBC, that is National Commission for Backward Classes. 103rd was about EWS, economic economically weaker section. The reservation for them has come to the 103rd Constitution Amendment Act. <coughs> 104th to extend the reservation seats for SC, ST, and in legislative in Lok Sabha and legislative assembly. Lok Sabha and legislative assembly, LA is legislative assembly, and through this act also. The reservation seats for Anglo-Indian was removed. आगे देख लेंगे। 105 to restore power of state government to identify the other backward classes. 106 2023 में आया है 
to reserve one third seats in Lok Sabha Legislative Assembly, Delhi Legislative Assembly for one for fifteen years. So, one hundred three, one hundred four, and one hundred five, one hundred six, even one hundred two, that they have come for the. You can say that they all came for the under the social justice, and somewhere related to the reservation of the seats. <coughs> Next one. Considering the formation of following state and arrange these in chronological order, Goa has become Union Territory in 1961, but uh, obtained the statehood in 1987. So it is about formation of state. Then this is 1987. Telangana, yes, came in 2014. Jharkhand came in 2001. Haryana formed in 1966. So it is four. <coughs> first, third, second. Four, first, third, and second. One more fact, UP Divas that we celebrate on we celebrate on twenty fourth January of each year. On twenty fourth January nineteen forty nineteen fifty United Province renamed as Uttar Pradesh. <coughs> Which one of the following is not correctly matched? So provision and sources are there. Let's see our constitution provision and their sources. From Government of India Act nineteen thirty five federal scheme has been adopted. From UK Parliament, from UK United Kingdom parliamentary form of government and rule of law. From USA, fundamental rights and judicial review. From Ireland, we have taken DPSP. From Canada, we have taken federal federation with a strong centre and residuary power of centre. From France, liberty, equality and fraternity. Australia, it is concurrent list. South Africa, provision for constitution amendment. Germany, emergency provision. USSR, that is Russia, former Russia. We have taken the fundamental duty. So in this way, which one is not correct? Fundamental right from USA correct. DPSP from Ireland correct. Residuary power of centre. Yes, that came from Canada. From Australia, we have taken the concurrent list. Concurrent list we have taken from the <coughs> Australia. From Germany, it is emergency powers. Yes, correct. So option C is correct because that is not correctly matched. Forty nine. The Public Account Committee of India Parliament scrutinizes the what? The report of Comptroller and Auditor General. Yeah, I am going to see the previous video about PSC, PUC, and Estimate Committee. Next one. Which of the following bill cannot be First introduced in Rajya Sabha. First introduction. Introduction. Ordinary bill. Yes, it can be introduced either in Rajya Sabha or Lok Sabha. Constitution amendment bill. Yes, it also. State reorganisation bill. Yes, it also can be introduced either in Lok Sabha or Rajya Sabha. But money bill. Yes, there is certain special provision related to the money bill. So it is mentioned under Article 109. Special provision in respect of money bill. A money bill shall not be introduced in the Council of State. So we cannot introduce that in the Rajya Sabha. And 110 definition of money bill is given. This is also important. Next one. Zero hour in the working of the Indian Parliament means zero is what? The time immediately following the question hour. So first it is question hour, then zero hour, then regular business of the houses. What is zero hour? Zero hour is the time when member of Parliament can raise issue of urgent public importance. No, during this MPs they are raising the issues which are under public, urgent public importance. <coughs> Next one, consider the following and arrange them in chronological order. Golakna case happened in nineteen sixty seven. Case one and Bharti case, famous case, basic structure of the constitution. Twenty fourth Constitution Amendment Act that came into nineteen seventy one, forty second came into nineteen seventy six. So our answer will be first, then uh, third, then second and fourth. So option A is correct. From twenty fourth Constitution Amendment Act, so Parliament has been given power that they can also, I mean, amend any part of the constitution, including fundamental right. Next one, which. Of the following word is not mentioned in preamble of the Constitution of India. Can you mention it? Preamble, try to see. With the people of India having solemnly resolved to constitute India into a sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice, social, economic, and polit polit political. Social, economic, and political. This is justice, social, SCP. You can remember like this. Justice, social, economic, and political. Liberty. So you have also remembered all these five. Liberty of thought, expression, belief, faith, and worship. One, two, three, four, and five. Liberty in. Liberty of thought, expression, belief, faith, and worship. Equality of status and of opportunity, and promote among them all fraternity, asserting the dignity of the individual and unity and integrity of the nation. Now, next, it is written that 
in our constituent assembly this 26th day of November 1949 do hereby adopt enact and give ourselves the constitution <coughs> so which is not mentioned federal is not mentioned sovereign secular democratic that is mentioned one more thing that socialist and secular that came later that came later through which amendment act 42nd constitution amendment act <coughs> just a second <coughs> sorry <coughs> through 42nd ca constitution amendment act socialist secular as well as integrity this word were being added to the 42nd constitution amendment act <coughs> next one the assertion and reason the council of minister in india collectively responsible to both lok sabha and rajya sabha reason is member of both lok sabha and rajya sabha are eligible to become minister ministers in indian government <coughs> See, assertion is not correct. So, D is our answer. They are collectively council of ministers. They are collectively responsible to the Lok Sabha, not Rajya Sabha. And reason is correct that member of both Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha, they can become the minister in union government. Council of ministers that is mentioned under Article seventy four. Then provision as to minister that is mentioned under the Article seventy five. So here, in clause three, it is mentioned the council of ministers shall be collectively responsible to the House of People, that is Lok Sabha. Next one, a member of a state public service commission may be removed by. See, state public service commission. So member, they are appointed by the president, but sorry, they are appointed by the governor. Appointed by the governor. This is regarding state public service commission, <coughs> but removed by the removed. What is important? They are removed. Removed by the president. Removed by the president. After the inquiry conducted by the Supreme Court, they can be removed. But after the inquiry conducted by the Supreme Court, so this is answer C is correct. The provision is mentioned under Article three one seven, or part part of what? This is part fourteen. <coughs> Public service commission. They are mentioned under part fourteen of the Court Constitution. Next one. In India, the first municipal corporation was set up in which of the following state? So it is Madras. It is Madras. In Madras, first municipal corporation was set up, and that was known as Corporation of Madras. Next one, hundred and ten. Sukumar Sen was first Chief Election Commissioner of India. Yes, that is correct. Rama Rama Devi <coughs> was first woman Chief Election Commissioner of India. Yes, this is also correct. First election commissioner Sukumar Sen, nineteen fifty. V S Ramabai was first woman election commissioner appointed in nineteen ninety, and then Rajiv Kumar is the current chief election commissioner. So this is mentioned under Article fifteen of election, Article number thirty four, Article number three two four. Sorry. <coughs> You can go through these provision. Next one, can you show me one free country where there are separate electorates? The British element is gone, but they have left mischief behind. So who said that? So none other than Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel. Next one, in which year PC Hota Committee on Civil Service Reform was constituted? So it was in two thousand four. नेक्स्ट वन लिस्ट दिया गया है स्टेट की लिस्ट एंड देयर सीट्स इन राज्यसभा उसको मैच कराना है राजस्थान में कितनी सीट्स हैं राजस्थान में दस सीट हैं गुजरात में ग्यारह सो गुजरात में ग्यारह सीट्स हैं सो राजस्थान टेन गुजरात ग्यारह कर्नाटका में बारह हैं कर्नाटका हैज़ ट्वेल्व सीट्स देन पंजाब हैज सेवन सीट्स सो इट इज़ वन थ्री फोर टू सो द कॉम्पोजिशन ऑफ द काउंसिल ऑफ स्टेट That is mentioned under Article eighty. Maximum strength can be two fifty, two thirty eight from state and union territories, and twelve are non-nominated member. Schedule four 
मैंशन है कि किस राज्य को कितनी सीट्स अलोकेट की गई है यूपी हैज़ मैक्सिमम थर्टी वन महाराष्ट्र उन्नीस दिन तमिलनाडु एटीन वेस्ट बंगाल और बिहार दोनों को सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन सीट्स हैं कर्नाटका ट्वेल्व मध्य प्रदेश और आंध्र प्रदेश और गुजरात इन तीनों स्टेट को ग्यारह ग्यारह सीट्स मिली हैं उड़ीसा राजस्थान को दस दस सीट्स केरला नाइन सीट पंजाब तेलंगाना सेवन सीट्स झारखंड सिक्स सीट हरियाणा एंड छत्तीसगढ़ बोथ आर हैविंग फाइव फाइव सीट्स जम्मू एंड कश्मीर फोर सीट्स अब ये मे भी चेंज हो सकता है डेटा प्लीज इसको एक बार वेरीफाई कर लीजिएगा हिमाचल प्रदेश उत्तराखंड एंड दिल्ली दे आर हैविंग दी थ्री थ्री सीट्स सेवन सिस्टर्स आसाम अरुणाचल प्रदेश मेघालय मणिपुर मिजोरम नागालैंड त्रिपुरा अलॉन्ग विद सिक्किम गोवा एंड पुदुचेरी दे ऑल आर हैविंग वन वन सीट्स नेक्स्ट वन कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग कमिटी ऑफ पंचायती राज एंड अरेंज दीज इन क्रोनोलॉजिकल ऑर्डर सो ये चीज़ें हम पहले भी देख चुके हैं रिपीटेड क्वेश्चन है ये अशोक मेहता कमेटी दैट केम इन 1977 एलएम सिंघवी कमेटी 1986 बीआर मेहता कमेटी 1957 जीवी के राव कमेटी 1985 सो ऑर्डर विल बी थर्ड फर्स्ट फोर्थ एंड सेकेंड द फंक्शन ऑफ स्टेट पब्लिक सर्विस कमीशन ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश कैन बी एक्सटेंडेड बाई सो इट विल इट कैन बी एक्सटेंड बाई दी उत्तर प्रदेश स्टेट लेजिस्लेचर सो इट इज रिटर्न अंडर आर्टिकल थ्री टू वन पावर टू एक्सटेंड फंक्शन ऑफ पब्लिक सर्विस कमीशन An act made by Parliament, or as the case may be, the legislature of a state may provide for the exercise of additional function by Union Public Service Commission or the State Public Service Commission. <coughs> so this is respectively, Parliament can extend the function of Union Public Service Commission, and the State Legislature can extend the. Function of the year, State Public Service Commission. Next one, which one of the following is not correctly matched? So we have to see. These are the subjects and their related articles. The separation of judiciary from executive that is mentioned under <coughs> Article 50 that is correct. Promotion of education and economic interests of scheduled caste and scheduled tribes that is uh, mentioned under Article. <coughs> This is not correctly matched. Promotion of cooperative society, forty-three A. Uh, <clears throat> Let's see. I think this is correct. Promotion of cooperative cooperative society. That is, I think forty-three B. This will be forty-three B. The organization of village panchayat and enable them to function as the unit of self-government. Yes, this is mentioned under Article forty. This is correct. Let's see. Let's see all the these all. All DPSP and their article. Let's see all the DPSP. <coughs> so DPSP, this is comes under Part Four, and this is from Article Number Thirty Six to Fifty One. Article Thirty Six Definition Thirty Seven Upon <coughs> Application of Principle Contained in This Part Thirty Eight State to Secure a Social Order for the Promotion of the State. Promotion of welfare of the people. Thirty-nine certain principle of policy to be followed by the state. Thirty-nine equal justice and free legal act. <coughs> Forty the the organization of village panchayat that was that was in the option. <coughs> Forty-one right to work, to education and to public assistance in certain cases. Forty-second provision of just and humane condition of work and maternity relief. Living wages and etc for worker that is forty-three. Forty-three a see forty-three a it is participation of worker in management of industries. This is the part participation of workers in the management. Forty-three B is the promotion of cooperative society. So, this was uh, uh, wrongly matched, you know, in the option. Forty-four uniform civil code for the citizen. Forty-five provision as free and compulsory education for children. Promotion of education and economic interest of civil caste. That is forty-six. That is also correctly matched in the option. <coughs> Then, forty-second, forty-seven duty of state to raise level of nutrition and standard of living and to improve public health. Forty-eight the organization of agriculture and animal husbandry. Forty-eight A. This is important. Protection and improvement of environment and safeguarding of forest and wildlife. Forty-nine, protection of monuments and places and objects of national importance. Fifty, separation of judiciary from executive. That was correctly matched. Fifty-one, promotion of international peace and security. Next one, 
with reference to if special order of the president of india which of the following statement is are correct <coughs> the president addressed the joint meeting of both houses of parliament at the commencement of first session after each general election of the house of the people and at the commencement of first session of each year yes this is correct the president in his address informed the parliament of the cause of the summon yes this is also correct so both one second correct so a special address by president that is mentioned under article 87 you can see at the commencement of the first session after each general election to the house of the people and the commencement of first session of each year the president shall address the both house of parliament assemble together and inform parliament of the cause of its summon yes so both answer, both options are correct <coughs> now assertion and reason the president of india determines the qualification of the chairman and member of the finance commission the chairman and member of the member are appointed by the president of india so which one is correct and which one is false president uh, doesn't determine the qualification of chairman and member of the finance commission so it is uh, is false and or is true under article 280 this is important article 280 finance commission the president shall within 2 year from the commencement of the this constitution and thereafter at the expiration of every fifth year of at such earlier time as the president considered necessary by the order constituted a finance commission which shall consist of a chairman and four other member to be appointed by the president so 1 plus 4 <coughs> now second clause parliament may by law determine the qualification which shall be re requisite for the appointment of as appointment as a member of the commission and the manner in which they shall be selected so it is parliament which determine the qualification of commissioner chairman uh, <coughs> member of the commission member of the finance commission next one which part of the constitution has the provision for panchayati raj system so it is ninth part in uh, part 6 states mention part 3 fundamental right is mention part 4th fundamental duty mention when was the third tier added to the indian federal kab add hua tha 1992 third tier is what third tier is the panchayati raj panchayati so to the 73rd constitution amendment act panchayati raj has been added got the constitution is status which of the following is not possible by the law of the parliament under article 3 of the constitution kya possible nahi hai formation of new state alteration of areas of state alteration of boundaries of state admission of new state ye possible hai ye possible hai ye possible hai d nahi possible hai d it is by the article number 2 part first mein mention hai article 2nd state admission of establishment of new state So admission is not possible through the third. Third, me kya hai? Formation of new state and alteration of areas, boundaries, and name of the ex existing states. In the removal of which of the following official does the parliament not play any role? Parliament kisi role nahi play karta? This is of High Court, this is of Supreme Court, Chairman of UPSC, Comptroller and Auditor General of India. Parliament kisi role nahi play karta? it is chairman chairman ke case mein parliament role play nahi karta for the removal isme supreme court role play karta hai so chairman of public service commission they can be removed by the president after an inquiry established by the supreme court cag ke respect mein kya hai comptroller and auditor general there shall be a comptroller and auditor general of india who shall be appointed by the president by warrant under his hand and seal and shall only be removed from the office in like manner and on the like ground as a judge of supreme court so supreme court ke judge ke removal mein parliament role play karta hai similarly since removal procedure cg ka same hai as a judge of supreme court so wahan bhi parliament apna role play karega the superintendent direction and control of all issues of panchayati panchayats are vested in that is vested in state election commission we have seen it as here which one of the following pair is not correctly matched inter state council 263 finance commission 280 administrative tribunal 323 a union public service commission article 315 i think all are correctly matched here with reference to the measure of tenancy reforms in india which of the statement is are correct regulation of rent security of tenure and confirmation of ownership of tenants yes so टीनेंसी रिफॉर्म में ये सारी चीजें मेंशन है रेगुलेशन ऑफ रेंट है सिक्योरिटी ऑफ है कंफर्मेशन ऑफ ओनरशिप ऑन टीनेंट ये सारी चीजें मेंशन है सो ऑल आर करेक्ट हियर विच आर्टिकल ऑफ द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन डिस्क्राइब द सेंट्रल विजिलेंस कमीशन सेंट्रल विजिलेंस कमीशन 
कंस्टिट्यूशन बॉडी नहीं है तो इट विल बी नॉन ऑफ दी एवर इट इज स्टेचरी बॉडी सेटअप इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी फोर ऑन रिकमेंडेशन ऑफ के संसाधन कमेटी सेंट्रल बिजनेस कमिश्नर प्लस टू बिजनेस कमिश्नर दे आर अपॉइंटेड बाई दी प्रेसिडेंट सो सी बी सी केमेंट टू नाइनटीन सिक्सटी फोर इट इज स्टेचरी बॉडी एंड देर आर थ्री कमिश्नर वन इज चीफ सेंट्रल बिजनेस कमिश्नर एंड टू बिजनेस कमिश्नर एंड ऑल आर अपॉइंटेड बाई दी प्रेसिडेंट कंसिडर फॉलोइंग चेयरपर्सन ऑफ नेशनल वुमन कमीशन सो नेशनल वुमन कमीशन दिस इज ऑल्सो स्टेचुचरी बॉडी केम टू नाइनटीन नाइन टू एंड फर्स्ट चेयर पर्सन वॉज जयंती पटनायक करंट चेयरपर्सन इज रेखा शर्मा सो दिस इज दी ऑर्डर जयंती पटनायक दिन वी मोहनीगिरी दिन विभा दिन पूर्णिमा अडवाणी दिन गिरजा व्यास दिन ममता शर्मा दिन यल कुमार मंगलम दिन रेखा शर्मा इज द करंट चेयरपर्सन ऑफ दी एन डब्ल्यू सी सो विच ऑप्शन इज करेक्ट हियर फर्स्ट इज जयंती पटनायक देन सेकेंड इज पूर्णिमा फर्स्ट फोर सो दिस इज करेक्ट विच रीजन ऑफ द कंट्री कन्फर्म स्पेशल स्टेटस अंडर आर्टिकल थ्री सेवेंटी वन जे ऑफ द कंस्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया सो इट इज अ बी हैदराबाद एंड कर्नाटका जल्दी जल्दी हम और चीज देखेंगे पार्ट ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट टेम्प्ररी ट्रांजिशनल एंड स्पेशल प्रोविजन सो इसमें हम देखेंगे थ्री सिक्सटी नाइन आर्टिकल थ्री सिक्सटी नाइन इज अबाउट टेम्प्ररी पावर टू पार्लियामेंट टू मेक लॉज विद रिस्पेक्ट टू दी सर्टन मैटर इन द स्टेट लिस्ट एज इफ दे वर मैटर इन दी कंकरेंट लिस्ट ये टेम्प्ररी पावर देता है पार्लियामेंट को नाउ थ्री सेवेंटी में क्या है टेम्प्ररी प्रोविजन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू दी स्टेट ऑफ जम्मू एंड काश्मीर सो ये सब रिपील हो गया था थ्री सेवेंटी अभी हटा है थ्री सेवेंटी वन स्पेशल प्रोविजन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू दी स्टेट ऑफ महाराष्ट्र एंड गुजरात थ्री सेवेंटी वन ए रिस्पेक्ट टू नागालैंड बी आसाम सी मणिपुर डी आंध्र प्रदेश एंड स्टेट ऑफ तेलंगाना ई विद रिस्पेक्ट टू आंध्र प्रदेश सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश देन एफ सिक्किम जी मिजोरम एच अरुणाचल प्रदेश आई गोवा जे रिस्पेक्ट टू दी कर्नाटक विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट करेक्टली मैच फंडामेंटल ड्यूटी सो दिस इज करेक्टली मैच द स्टेट्स या करेक्टली मैच अटॉर्नी जनरल अटॉर्नी जनरल इज पार्ट ऑफ यूनियन पार्ट ऑफ यूनियन दैट इज पार्ट फिफ्थ आर्टिकल सेवेंटी सिक्स देन सर्विस अंडर द यूनियन एंड स्टेट दैट इज पार्ट फोर्टीन दैट इज करेक्टली मैच विच इज द लार्जेस्ट कमिटी ऑफ द इंडियन पार्लियामेंट वी हैव सीन अलियर इट इज एस्टिमेट कमिटी दे आर हैविंग थर्टी मेबर ऑल आर फ्रॉम लोकसभा विच आर्टिकल ऑफ द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन रिलेटेड टू द सिटीजनशिप कौन सा आर्टिकल फाइव टू इलेवन दैट इज पार्ट सेकेंड Given below are two statements. One is labeled as assertion, and other as reason. The nature of Indian political system embodied the element of continuity and changes. Reason: The Indian political system contains the element of the following political systems, such as modern style, the traditional style, and saint style. <coughs> I think both are correct. Both are correct. And first is correct explanation of the reason is the correct explanation of the assertion. So option A is correct. Here. Which can be the minimum strength of council of ministers, including the chief minister in the state? अब ये देखना है. Article one sixty four said that number of council of ministers, including CM, not exceed fifteen percent. Also, it should not be less than twelve. So, minimum twelve to होना चाहिए. अभी का logic भाई चलें. Least legislative assembly seats किस में है? Goa में है चालीस. उसका पंद्रह percent निकालेंगे तो छः ही आएगा. But छः less than twelve है तो twelve should be the minimum strength. The Supreme Court of India enunciated the doctrine of basic structure of the constitution in which case? Very famous case. The case one and Bharti case in 1973. Which one of the following is not correctly matched? Article 39A, equal justice and free legal act. We have seen that. This is correct. Article 40, organisation of village panchayat. That is also correct. Article 44, uniform civil code. Correct. Article 48, separation of judiciary from executive. Yeah, that is not correct. This is Article 50. What is Article 48? Organisation of agriculture and animal husbandry. Consider the following statement in concept of the Attorney General of India. The President shall appoint a person who is qualified as to appointed a judge of the Supreme Court. Yes, that is correct. The Attorney General shall receive such remuneration as Parliament may determine. This is not correct. This is purely depend on the pleasure of President, and he decides the remuneration. So, which option will be correct then? Correct answer is only one. So, under Article Seventy Six, Attorney General of India. Here you can see under Clause Number Four. The Attorney General shall hold office during the pleasure of President, and shall receive such remuneration as the President may determine. Next one, 
given below are two statements one is label and assertion other is reason in the indian federalism is called quasi federal indian has a independent judicial with power of judicial review quasi federal the meaning of quasi federal is more power given to the central government than the state government so more power to the center yes than the state government so this is true india has a independent judiciary with power of judicial review this is also true but the explanation is not correct the reason is not the correct explanation of the assertion so b will be the our answer joint sitting of lok sabha and rajya sabha can be take place to resolve deadlock over what so ordinary legislation yes money bill mein nahi koi joint sitting nahi hoti <coughs> constant amendment bill ye separately pass honi chahiye appropriation bill b mein lok sabha ka upper hand rehta hai to joint sitting isme bhi nahi hogi so it is ordinary legislation jisme joint sitting ke through deadlock resolve ho sakta hai so article 108 mein hai joint sitting ke provisions this is summoned by president and presided by the lok sabha speaker match list one with list second article 61 Article sixty one is related to the impeachment. Article sixty seven B related to the removal of vice president. Article ninety four related to the removal of speaker, and article ninety is removal of deputy chairman of Rajya Sabha. So to remember sixty one impeachment, sixty seven B removal of vice president, ninety four is removal of speaker, and ninety is removal of deputy chairman of Rajya Sabha. So C is correct answer. On which of the following dates Constituent Assembly of India adopted the national flag? कब adopt किया था हमने? 22 जुलाई 1947. 1947 को national flag adopt हुआ था. National anthem and national song 24 January 1950 को adopt हुआ था. Constitution of India कब adopt हुआ था? 26 November 1949 को. Next one. The development, monitoring, and evaluation of office, evaluation office, which monitors the progress of long-term policies, is an attachment office under which? This is attachment this is attached under the niti ayog this is development monitoring and evaluation office this is attached under the niti ayog in which of the following the provision for the protection and improvement of environment and safeguard of forest and wildlife are founded in the indian constitution ye to dono mein hai directive principle of state policy and fundamental duties dono mein protection provision kis regarding hai protection and improvement of environment improvement of environment ये दोनों में है डीपीएसयू में और फंडामेंटल राइट सो डीपीएसयू में कहां पे है 41 ए प्रोटेक्शन इंप्रूवमेंट ऑफ एनवायरनमेंट रिगार्डिंग ऑफ फॉरेस्ट एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ 51 ए दिस इज पार्ट ऑफ फंडामेंटल ड्यूटीज 51 ए जी टू प्रोटेक्ट एंड इंप्रूव द नेचुरल एनवायरनमेंट इंक्लूडिंग फॉरेस्ट लेक रिवर वाइल्ड लाइफ एंड टू हैव कंपैशन फॉर लिविंग क्रिएचर नेक्स्ट वन 50% सीट्स शैल बी रिजर्व फॉर द वुमेन ऑफ एससी एससी एसटी कैटेगरी वेयर विद रेफरेंस टू पंचायत 50% सीट्स शैल बी रिजर्व फॉर द वुमेन ऑफ एससी एसटी कैटेगरी नो दिस इज नॉट करेक्ट Gram Sabha is a body consisting of all persons living in the village. This is no, also not correct. Not all persons, but who are role in electoral role, who are registered in the electoral role. There will be panchayat at intermediate intermediate level. Yes, this is correct. So only three is the answer. So one third seats shall be reserved for the women of S S T category. All persons mentioned in the electoral role, they are the part of the Gram Sabha. Uh, and third one was right. There will be panchayat at intermediate level. Next one. मजदूर किसान शक्ति संगठन अ सोशल मूवमेंट हैज बीन एसोसिएट विद विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इन इंडिया सो दिस वाज एसोसिएटेड विद द आरटीआई एक्ट व्हिच केम इनटू 2005 आरटीआई एक्ट हु सेड इंडिया इज क्वासी फेडरल स्टेट सो दिस इज केसी वियर हु सेड दैट इंडिया इज अ क्वासी फेडरल स्टेट क्वासी फेडरल सेंटर हैज मोर पावर देन द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट हैज मोर पावर देन द स्टेट को And in the following event in chronological order, and select the correct answer from the codes given below. So we have to see that Maharaja Hari Singh signed the Instrument of Accession. This was in 1947. Constitution of India was enforced. When was that? 1950, 26 January. Accession to India ratified by the Sovereign Constituent Assembly of Jammu and Kashmir. Accession to India ratified by. When ratified was that? Constituent Assembly of Jammu and Kashmir. It was in 1954. New Constitution, Constitution of State of Jammu and Kashmir came into force in 1957. ऑर्डर में ही है वन टू थ्री फोर वन टू थ्री फोर नेशनल पंचायती राज डे इन इंडिया इज सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन सो दिस इज सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन ट्वेंटी फोर्थ अप्रिल बिकॉज ऑन ट्वेंटी फोर्थ अप्रिल 
Seventy third Constitution Amendment Act, nineteen ninety two, became the effective on twenty four April nineteen ninety three. Which of the following article was inserted by forty second Constitution Amendment to provide for the participation of worker in the management? Particip participation of worker in management. So it was Article D. Through the Article forty three A, <coughs> the in DPSP, participation of workers in the management is mentioned under forty forty three A. New DPSP. जो ऐड हुए थे फोर्टी सेकंड फोर्टी सेकंड अमेंडमेंट एड के थ्रू वो थे कौन कौन से थर्टी नाइन ए फोर्टी थ्री ए एंड फोर्टी एट ए ये तीन नए थे और थर्टी uh, नाइन में थोड़ा थोड़ा प्रोविजन और भी ऐड हुआ था सो यू कैन सी दैट थर्टी नाइन ए इक्वल जस्टिस एंड फ्री लीगल एड फोर्टी थ्री ए पार्टिसिपेशन ऑफ वर्क इन मैनेजमेंट एंड इंडस्ट्री फोर्टी एट ए प्रोटेक्शन एंड इंप्रूवमेंट ऑफ एनवायरमेंट सेफ गार्डिंग ऑफ फॉरेस्ट एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ वट इज द लीगल नेचर ऑफ दिएम्बल ऑफ दिशन legal nature is it is not enforceable court can take support of preamble in order to explain or clarify the provision of constitution but the preamble is not enforceable which of the following is correct about the healing heading of the article 162 of the constitution of india so 162 kya hai this is regarding the extension of executive power of state Extension of executive power of state. So that is mentioned under Article One Sixty Two. So these all articles they are mentioned under Art Part Six, the state from One Fifty Two to Two Thirty Seven. Article One One Fifty Two to Two Thirty Seven. So they are articles you can go through that. One Sixty Two extent of executive power of the state. Given below are two statement. One is liberal assertion. Second is reason. Article Thirty of Constitution of India does not define the term minority. The Constitution recognizes only linguistic and regional minority. I think both are correct, both are correct. But this is not the correct reason. Definition नहीं है, but Article Thirty में अगर आप देखेंगे, right of minority to establish and administer education institute, all minorities whether based on religion or language. So based on religion and language का जिक्र है, but definition नहीं है, minority का definition नहीं है. With reference to the federal system in India, which of the following statement is correct? State have no right to secede from the union under the Constitution of India. Yes, state has no right. Just advocacy of secession will have the protection of freedom of expression. No. <coughs> so option A is correct. C, the advocacy of secession has become unlawful through the UAPA Act 1967. अगर आप वकालत करते हैं, अलग होने की मात्र वकालत करते हैं, तो उसको भी illegal full माना जाएगा, unlawful act माना जाएगा. Which of the following is not correctly matched? Public health and sanitation, state list, census, union list, allocation of seats, second schedule, entity fixed and tenth schedule. So schedules are, I mean, allocation of seats that is mentioned under four, schedule four, schedule four. Second schedule, me kya hai? Emoluments. Is there a provision? Emoluments and privileges to certain people. This means president, vice president, <coughs> governor. Uh, सुप्रीम कोर्ट हाई कोर्ट के जजेस सी जी ये लोग शामिल हैं उनके लिए इवन इमोलमेंट्स एंड प्रिवलेजेस डिस्क्राइब है सेकंड शेड्यूल में फोर्थ शेड्यूल में है अलोकेशन ऑफ सीट्स इन काउंसिल ऑफ स्टेट्स सेवन शेड्यूल में डिवीजन ऑफ पावर है जिसमें यूनियन लिस्ट है नाइन्टी अभी उसकी संख्या नाइन्टी है स्टेट लिस्ट में सिक्सटी सब्जेक्ट्स हैं कंकरेंट लिस्ट में फोर्टी सब्जेक्ट्स हैं यूनियन लिस्ट में डिफेंस कम्युनिकेशन बैंकिंग सेंस ये सारे मैंशन है इसके अलावा और भी चीजें और भी सब्जेक्ट मैंशन है स्टेट लिस्ट में ट्रेड आता है एग्रीकल्चर आता है पुलिस आता है पब्लिक हेल्थ एंड सैनिटेशन आता है कंकरेंट इसमें फॉरेस्ट एजुकेशन एंड मैरिजेज इसके अलावा और भी आते हैं इसमें और भी आते हैं ये कुछ मेंशन है बट देर आर फोर्टी फोर्टी सेवन सब्जेक्ट इन कंकरेंट लिस्ट सिक्स सब्जेक्ट इन स्टेट लिस्ट एंड नाइन्टी सेवन सब्जेक्ट सब्जेक्ट आर देर इन यूनियन लिस्ट हाउ मनी आइटम आर देर इन लेवन शेड्यूल ऑफ द इंडियन कंस्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया लेवन शेड्यूल में कितने आइटम्स हैं सो दे आर ट्वेंटी नाइन आइटम्स इफ यू रीड शेड्यूल इलेवन ट्वेंटी नाइन मैटर रिलेटेड टू दावर अथॉरिटी एंड रिस्पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ पंचायत आर डिस्क्राइब इन दिस शेड्यूल वही ट्वेल्थ शेड्यूल में एटीन मैटर है एटीन मैटर रिलेटेड टू म्यूनसिपालिटीज पावर अथॉरिटी एंड रिस्पॉसिबिलिटी आर डिस्क्राइब इन दिस शेड्यूल विद रेफरेंस टू प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफिस पीएमओ विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज करेक्ट इट केम इनटू एक्जिस्टेंस इन 1977 इट इज हेडेड बाय कैबिनेट सेक्रेटरी दिस इज करेक्ट बट दिस इज नॉट करेक्ट द पीएमओ इज हेडेड बाय प्रिंसिपल सेक्रेटरी नॉट द कैबिनेट सेक्रेटरी एंड करंट करंट सेक्रेटरी प्रिंसिपल सेक्रेटरी इज प्रमोद कुमार मिश्रा द पीएमओ वाज ओरिजिनली कॉल्ड द प्राइम मिनिस्टर सेक्रेटरी Period until 1977. So from 1977, it is called PM, Prime Minister Office. 
नेक्स्ट वन द प्रोविजन ऑफ सिक्स शेड्यूल ऑफ इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन आर एप्लीकेबल इन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेट क्या था सिक्स एम टी एम सिक्स शेड्यूल इज सिक्स एम टी एम आसाम मेघालय मिजोर त्रिपुरा एंड मिजोर आसाम मेघालय त्रिपुरा एंड मिजोर सो सिक्स एम टी एम सिक्स एम टी एम सो द प्रोविजन ऑफ सिक्स शेड्यूल ऑफ इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन आर एप्लीकेबल इन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेट इसमें से कौन सी स्टेट है आसाम त्रिपुरा सो त्रिपुरा इज अंडर प्रोविजन ऑफ सिक्स शेड्यूल इज एप्लीकेबल इन दी त्रिपुरा विच आर द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट रेटली मैस्ड हेबीएस कॉपर हेबीएस कॉपर्स टू हैव अ बॉडी ऑफ करेक्ट मैडमाइस मैडमाइस इज इज वी कमांड करेक्ट प्रोहिबिशन टू सर्टिफाई नो टू सर्टिफाई सर्टिओरी प्रोहिबिशन इज टू फॉरबिड प्रोहिबिशन टू फॉरबिड क्यू वॉर टू बाई वॉट अथॉरिटी सो लेट सी दीज आर दी रिट्स सो ऑप्शन आई मीन सी इज करेक्ट because provision is to forbid not to certify let's see supreme court can issue writs in case of fundamental rights under article 32 article 32 and under article 2 to 6 high court can issue writs in case of violation of any constitution right including fundamental right so <coughs> high court has upper hand <coughs> in issuing their writs in issuing the writs high court has upper hand habeas corpus to have a body of against so it can be issued against both private and public authority madam as we command it can be issued again against any public body a corporation an inferior court and tribunal or government and mandamus cannot be issued again president or governor it cannot be issued again against president or god prohibition to forbid it can be issued again sorry <coughs> judicial and quasi judicial bodies certiorari to be certified it can be issued again judicial quasi judicial as well as administrative authority so certiorari can be issued again administrative authority but prohibition cannot be issued again administrative authority q warranto that is by what warrant or warrant by what authority or warrant <coughs> and it can be issued again holders of public offices or ministries the money bill is defined in which of the article of the constitution of india it is defined we have seen earlier it is defined under article 110 under 109 a special procedure in respect of money bill the provision uh, provision of uh, special procedure of money bill is given 110 definition of money bill 111 assent to bills provision regarding assent to bills is given in 111 article and 112 that is annual financial statement statement also called budget so that is uh, that is given under article 112 but see budget the word is not mentioned in the constitution of india in the constitution of india the budget word is not mentioned 